Good morning, you guys. We're doing plant chores this morning. It's Saturday, it's my day off, and I promised my plants some attention. So that is what we're doing this morning. I've got to water a lot of my plants. I have to check my propagations. I have to clean some of my propagation containers and top off some of them. Got a lot to do today. Oh, and I have pests on a new plant that I brought in and those need to be treated as well. All right, first things first, I got my little spray bottle. Please excuse my outfit, I'm still in my pajamas. I am just spraying down all my little um, moss propagations, including under terrarium that Ricky just bought me. It was a really good deal, uh, Walmart. $12.96 I believe he paid for that and they're normally like $20 at least $20 it's not like perfect as a actual terrarium because it's not sealed there's like holes in the glass up here but I, I mean it's super cute look how cute Look at this, you guys, look at that. I, I grew that, I grew that from just a little node cutting. Look at it, a successful cutting, a successful prop, very excited. I've got several new propagation boxes since the last time I showed you any of this, like this guy, that guy back there. I got a couple new plants, like this guy. And this guy, these wasps keep coming from out of nowhere. I'm gonna have to get a chameleon to eat these guys. You guys did get a little sneaky peek of this plant and this plant. I've got my Adnisonii in a tent bag, a humidity tent, and it's loving it. Got some poinsettias sent from work. So was the Shefalera that was sent from work. It was dying and well, one of the reasons was root rot because that soil was just just mud. It was just mud. And then also I discovered it has brown scale, soft brown scale, sapping its life. Okay, we need to go get some water because a lot of these guys needs water. Needs a lot of these guys needs waters. That's not how you say that. A lot of these guys need water. I also need some alcohol. Probably some Q-tips. Uh, I need to go gather some, some supplies, so let's go do that. So Ricky's been cleaning out the yard and there are four buckets of, um, of Lekka balls that they got from a gentleman years ago who was doing hydro hydroponics and he said that I could have these but they've been in these buckets for so long they really need to be clean and sanitized and that's a whole process you gotta like rinse those things until they run clear and then you gotta boil them and all that stuff so that's gonna take me a while to do but I do want to try propagating in Lekka balls this is in Lekka and it's probably been in Lekka for a year I forgot it in the camper, the RV in the yard, and it survived. That's why its name is Wilson. But I do want to try propagating in the Lekka for some of my other cuttings. So I've got, oh, sorry buddy. I've got my Nanook in a humidity tent as well, a makeshift humidity tent. It's got new growth for sure. All this lighter colored stuff, this is all new growth in here. I can't see where I'm at right now, so I'm hoping that the angle's good. I did cut a lot of it back because it was doing this, and I've got several pieces, well, I had several pieces propagating in a jar of water. I guess we'll just clean it off and put it back in there. This was such a beautiful plant when I got it, and I ruined it. This is the propagations I had in water. It turns out working at a eight to four, eight to five job doesn't leave you much time for your plants. And I haven't been changing this water out 
it was getting some roots and then it just started to rot so I'm probably going to cut this off right around here somewhere and try this again start by putting fresh water in there gross I just discovered another pest oh no that's mealybugs right there they're soft bodied, which means they're easy to kill. <laughs> if you don't want to use your fingers, you can use alcohol, but that's not good. Those things spread so quickly. This is gonna be a day full of pest control. I thought my lizards were supposed to be helping me. Look at them, they're everywhere. It's like we might have a pest on my alocasia as well. That's gonna be a little more pest control than I thought today. I've got some rubbing alcohol for the pests q-tips got some bleach to sanitize my scissors and pots and things to reuse them and then i've got some just um, lids from the olive garden that i'm going to use as trays for watering what i'm going to do here first of all i'm very proud of this i wasn't sure it was even going to work but i do have roots on my cordyline that's what Excuse me, that's what this plant is. I figured it out. I don't know what variety, but it is a cordyline and it's got roots. I could probably plant this guy, but I'm gonna wait, wait a little longer. I'm gonna put just a little bit of rubbing alcohol on this tray. Take a Q-tip, saturate the tip of it. Go along and I'm gonna look for the mealybugs. That's one there, there's one there, there's smaller ones everywhere. I'm just going to wipe them with the Q-tip and get them off of my plant. So because they're soft body, the alcohol kills them instantly. And I just wanna remove their carcasses basically and clean, clean my plant. Here's a good patch of them there. I'm not sure, but it looks like we might have spider mites also. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like little web kind of dust. And I think that's what spider mites look like. I'll have to look it up uh, to know for sure because I've never really looked into it, but I'm thinking maybe that's what that is. Okay, so the first treatment is done. I cleaned off each individual leaf. Unfortunately, that is just the start of this because I'm going to have to do it every few days to catch all the new babies. Oh, fun stuff. There we go. Oh, look. This guy just crawled. This guy. Where is he at? Right there just crawled out of a crevice down in here so now I gotta it's moving now I gotta get him look at him go dead got him next we have our shufflera 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 so these guys right here, I know they don't look like an insect, but that's exactly what they are. And as we speak, they're feasting on all the juices inside the plant. So we're gonna clean these guys off. And one way to tell, I learned recently that you have scale. I don't know if it's specific to soft brown scale, but when your leaves start to get like this sticky appearance, like you've spilt something sticky or they call it honeydew. That's the secretions from these pests they leave behind on your leaves. Same technique, get some alcohol on your Q-tip. And then because these are the soft body kind, they do come in hard body. They come like armored. Some of these can be armored so much that you have to get like a razor or you know a long fingernail and scrape underneath their shell in order to pull them off i lucked out with these guys and they're the soft kind so they'll just wipe off this is what they look like gross 
gross. <laughs> this was bad, you guys. Like, I knew it was bad, but that's, that's really bad. It almost looks like tomato seeds. Like, tomato seeds just got splashed onto the plant. But I got all the visible ones off. And now I think I'm just going to try to wipe down the leaves and get, you know, some of the residue. I also noticed, you know, little tiny ones kind of next to, I don't know what that is, next to the bigger ones. Oh, there's one I missed. Got to get that guy. Just for good measure, he's being kept in the corner away from my other plants. Pretty sure Skill doesn't jump. But I'd rather not take that risk. Don't want him touching any of my other plants. Okay, now i got to figure out what else I'm going to do. I know I need to do some reorganizing. I've moved a lot of stuff off the shelf that I haven't put it back yet. I already feel like I'm running out of room, but I know that's not the case. I'm just really disorganized and messy. Guys, I need to check all of my other plants for pests, let's be honest. I'm going to take a brief break, and then I'm going to come back in here and decide what I'm going to do next. Sleeping on the job, I see. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm gonna bleach some of these jars that I found in the yard so I can do some propagations in them. I need to sanitize my scissors too so I can make fresh cuts and not get my other plants sick. Right here is that gross piece of <laughs> my nanook and I'm just gonna cut it off right here below the last good node and we're gonna keep trying all right we got some fresh water in here pop it back in there oh probably have too much water there for that we're gonna take that water level down a bit there we go that's a little better just try to keep this water fresh and it should put out roots soon hopefully i decided to put my one of my cactus in my little owl planter i think you look so cute and there's a little mohawk. I put my Medusa in this gold pot up here on the shelf. And I put my Peperomia Frost up here as well. Put my Begonia. I think it's Silver Dollar, but I'm not positive. Put that in here. Decided to hang my Cebu, Cebu, Blue, Cebu Blue plant up from this tube up here on the roof. This is my newest plant, you guys so pretty and it's growing so much already i've already taken cuttings off of it this guy desperately needs to be repotted but i don't have any soil right now so he's gonna have to wait still got a lot of watering to do a lot of work to do to be honest but this video is already probably 15 minutes or so long after it's edited so really the footage is probably over an hour long it's gonna take me a while to edit but that's gonna be it for this video you guys i will um continue doing all the things and i'll keep you guys updated thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed please do so if you enjoy this type of content and i will see you in the next one bye